today I'm going to teach you how to do the pretest question, some of the pretest question. So for the first question, in how many different ways can the letters of the word booklet be arranged such that B and T always come together? So here we know that the B T always come together. So we cancel out B and T and then we left with O O K L E. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's equal to six factorial. Or you just can just time, times this. Then we also know that BT can be arranged as BT or TB. So which means that it has two factorial. And then we also we also know that there's two O or repeated O. So here it means that we need to divide it with two factorial. So using the permutation permutation formula, you get six factorial times this two factorial over repeated two factorial. So cancel out two factorial, and then you will get six factorial, which is equal to seven hundred twenty. So answer is B. Question two. In how many different ways can the letters of the word judge be arranged so that the vowels always come together? So the vowels always come together. So it means that you have U, E always come together. U and E. And then you just list down the rest. J, D, G. Here you have 1, 2, 3, 4 times, times, times. And then you will you will have four factorial. Uh, we know that the U E can be arranged as U E or E U. So two factorial one times two. Then so now we just times the both. There's no repeat repetition of letters, so we just times both four factorial times two factorial equal to 48 a 3 how many permutations are there of the letters in the word apple so list down all the letters a p p l e so here we have one two three four moving to question nine the question states that three dice are rolled. The number of possible outcomes in which at least one die show five is unknown. In this question, we're gonna have to use an abstraction. First, we must find the total number of possible outcomes for each dice. We must know that number five will appear among six surface of a die. That's why we put six. But due to the question states that there are 3 dices, so we're going to make it as 6 power of 3. Now that we have the total number of possible outcomes for each dice, we're going to find the total number of possible outcomes for each dice which 5 does not appear. When we look at our first calculations we did earlier, the total number of possible outcomes for each dice, we know that there are 5 remaining surfaces after 1 part of 6 has been used. Thus, the second condition will be 5 to the power of 3. For the final calculation, we're going to do some abstractions where a minus b equals to 91. For question 6, this question asks us to find ways where a teacher can arrange 6 students in a row if two of them refuse to sit next to each other. Now we know the conditions where there are total six students, but two of them resist to sit next to each other. In other words, there are four of them will be arranged randomly. So from a row, we know that four seats has been filled by four students. There are five empties which is selonsely to each other remaining for the two person that didn't want to sit together. 
final calculations, we're going to use 4 factorial times with 5 P2 equals to 480. So, for this question, how many ways can a club select a president, vice president, and a secretary from a group of five people? So, for this question, um, initially there are five, uh, there are five people, and then we need to choose a president. So five p one, and then times. Why times? Why we use times? Because the question stated that it is n. So n represents times. For so five p one times four p one as for this one why is it four because uh, the present is chosen so the total number will decrease into four and then after we choose the vice president the total number will also decrease into three so 5p1 times 4p1 times 3p1 and it is equals to um, 60 so for this question, to fill a number of vacancies, an employer must hire three programmers from among six applicants, two managers from among four applicants. Then the question asks, what is the total number of ways in which she can make her selection? Programmers from si among six applicants and two managers from among four applicants. What is the total number of ways in which she can make her selection? So an employer must hire three programmers from among six applicants. So it is 6C3. And then the question stated that it's an N. So N represents um, mul multiplication. So we multiplied by um, two managers from among four applicants. So this one represents 4C2. And we will get um, 120. That is how the question is solved. This question, how many outcomes choosing from three sizes of bottled water and from distilled, filtered or spring water? So to solve this question, as we know, there are distilled water, filtered water and spring water. Since there are three sizes, so we just consider there are small, medium, large, small, medium, large, small, medium and large since this question state that it's an or so or indicates plus so for this for each of the um, types of water so for example this the water it is 3 c1 because there are one types of water and three sizes so 3 c1 3c1 same goes for the filters and the small uh, spring water 3c1 and then we just um, plus it all 3c1 plus 3c1 plus 3c1 and it is equals to 3 plus 3 plus 3 and it is equals to 9 that is how we get the answer for this question For today's video, I'm gonna show you how to solve question 18. So the first question says that Emery must submit four paintings as part of her application to art school. If she has 25 to choose from, how many ways can she pick four? So you're, you're gonna need to know um, the information given. So they give you four, which is um, how many she need to submit, which is R. and how many she have in total which is 25 and we can put that as n so now we have r equals to 4 and n is equals to 25 so the formula we're gonna use is n to r equals to n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial so um since we have this information right here we're just gonna in sub substitute the information that we have which is 25 choose 4 equals to 25 factorial 
over 4 factorial 25 minus 4 factorial and we can simplify this by writing it as 25 factorial over 4 factorial and 21 factorial um, if we input this in our calculator we'll get 12,650 ways which is answer D so the next one we're gonna do is question 19 it says that how many ways are there to choose two cards from a standard deck of 52 cards so this is also how many ways whenever you see the question that asks how many ways you can you should always use the formula n choose r equals to n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial you should always use this formula if there are how many ways so next thing you're gonna do is you gotta list down what information you have so two is how many cards you need to choose you can label that as r and how many cards in total you have 52 cards you can label that as n so for now you have n equals to 52 and r equals to 2 so then you just substitute it into it substitute all of this information you have right here into this equation so um you just substitute 52 c choose 2 equals to 52 factorial over 2 factorial 52 minus 2 factorial this can be further simplified into 52 factorial over 2 factorial times sorry times 50 factorial you can input that into your calculator and you'll get 1326 ways which is answer a next let's look let's look at question 20 so this question asks how many ways again how many ways remember how did which formula to use can a company select a four person committee from a group of 12 employees so how many person we need to choose is what we label as r which is r equals to four and our n which is total of people we have is 12. therefore use the stem formula again To get the answer okay. now we just substitute what we have here into this equation therefore we will get 12 factorial over 4 factorial 12 minus 4 factorial we can further simply simplify this into uh, let me just put it right here into 12 factorial over 4 factorial times 8 factorial you can just input this into your calculator and you'll get 4, 9, 5 ways this is 8 